again. What is a blizzable? It's instead of forward tilt, you pummel and then oh. you blizzard with Nana. Okay. And then you pummel and then you blizzard with Nana. Because it registers practically the same. Uh, yeah, like they can grab release after the blizzard ends, though, if you don't like immediately. It's like a, it's a pretty tight timing. It's really weird because like the conventional wobble timing is so it's just 200 BPM AAA. But with Blizzobbling, you have to switch between A and B, and it's a really different timing. Yeah. So, like, it's very possible. Uh, and they can't get frozen out of the grab. Yeah. But it's just very, very weird. And also, it's called Blizzobbling, which is just gross. Yeah. It's so gross. It you've, has never, you've never seen a Blizzobble? It has, All like, right, a... I'll, I'll show you a Blizzobble at some point. Blizzobble sounds like one of those meals that you would have at a bar mitzvah. Like, try some Blizzobble. <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh, what are you doing? It's the... Got it's, your gabagool and your Blizzobble. Yeah, your gabagool. It's that, like, upper New York Jewish community <laughs> food. It's the Blizzobble, dude. <laughs> but either way, how is STJ's Fox? Uh, uh, really good. Is it really? Yeah, like, it, no, it's... Uh, last time he played Ham Yojo, uh, he beat Hamyojo with it. Oh. And, like, he's uh, taken games from Hamyojo before. He's, uh, like, taken games from me and Mojo before. Like, he has a very solid box. Yeah. Not, like, not near his puff. Uh, it's not, like, crazy far away from his puff, but his puff is, like, clearly better. Yeah. Uh, but, like, SDJ's box and even his Falco are nothing to, nothing to just wipe off. It looks like he's taking a lot of positional nuances from his Jigglypuff and applying it to his Fox as well. Yeah, like, he's very untraditional. Because he's a Puff player. Like, Puff mm -hmm. players and Icy's players are going to have weird, spacey secondaries. They're, uh, like, I think one of the biggest things about characters that aren't top tier playing a Fox secondary is you're going to see that they're going to take a lot of the aspects that they find most broken about Fox mm -hmm. and, like, try and work those in. Because it, it's the things that they find most broken on Fox in relation to what they've found broken about Puff or like why they play yeah. Puff. So that's one of the big reasons that makes it so disorienting when playing. Yeah. Uncharacteristic. Like that's why when like Icy's players play Fox, you'll see them just uh, so many of them just like jump to platform, shine, jump back to platform, yeah. shine. Because like that's super good against Icy's. And it's like so weird to watch it applied against other characters so deliberately. Yeah. And so consistently. It's really fun watching like floaty characters, floaty players, like, play fast secondaries. Yeah. And vice versa. It's really fun watching, like, Mojo play. Mojo's Peach is crazy. Mm. It's super good. It I would assume so it's, weird. like, it's... <sighs> Mojo has a weird timing. Oh, that killed. And I think when watching uh, him versus GP, how he waits certain scenarios out is, like, by the millisecond, it yeah. feels like. And that's the best way I can describe it, because I want to say he's patient, but the amount of times that he plays neutral and the positioning that he takes isn't your tradi traditional neutral like play. Yeah. Like he he will take advantage by like watching you make a mistake in a millisecond. Yeah. And then Yeah, and I like nothing about Mojo's playstyle. I don't think he knows what he's gonna do either. Yeah. He just like senses that something is a good thing to do and just goes for it as fast as he can. Exactly. Like when he when he sees his opening. And it, I think that's one of the big things that I would like to see from oh, Mojo's speech. But SJ has tried. Mm. This, I, I have a feeling this is going to go real badly. And it looks like that a lot of the time, Bunk definitely waiting it out as well. Oh, oh but the platform caught. That would have been sick if he had like kept him in the down smash. Mm. But yeah, I like you don't really need the stitch in that situation. Throwing the stitch up, I also think confused. Uh, yeah. Confused STJ. He was like, why did you just do that? Because STJ that's... was starting to run in, so I think he was like about to start reacting. They saw that when mm -hmm. he, it went up, and he was like, oh, wait. Oh, that's not fair. And I played Bunk earlier in, um, in tournament, and it looks like he's so used to the fact, especially in playing against fastballers, a lot of people opting towards the platform on recovery that he'll always opt that yeah. fair towards. It's pretty safe, and a lot of his options seem like he'll choose the middle grounds for the option, and then it's reactable yeah. based on such uh, movement. Oh. And, and also, like, the middle grounds that he goes for, if he misses them, he's not in a bad spot. Yeah. Like, if he misses that fair on a platform, Fox is on ledge. He can just back off. Exactly. It's and not like if he covers ledge, then Fox goes high, and then Bunk's off stage trying to cover ledge while the Fox is just going down for a shine spike. He's already in a better position at that point. Yeah. Ooh. Also, SJ went up. I'm not surprised. Yeah. Oh, Ooh. I thought he was going to get a rest off of that. Yeah, it it didn't look like uh, Bunk had the best DI, but SDA, SDJ also didn't have the drift in. Yeah. So. 
And also, Buck was at a pretty high percent, so mm -hmm. it was going to be kind of hard to get it anyway. Ooh, got him out of the 69% with the Umbrella. Very important. And working off your trades, especially when Puff lands on the platform here on Battlefield, is probably going to be the biggest success to Bunk's, uh, Bunk's set. Great air Ooh, dodge, but... Such a good grab on that, though. Yeah. I, th I was worried SJ was going to try and go for a forward smash, and then that was just going to get shielded or spot dodged or something. Yeah. But he had the awareness he just grabbed because Peach is at 130. She's going to go really far off stage, and then you're puff. Recognizing the position. I think macro is so important, especially when consisting of the aerial pressure that Peach and Jigglypuff both have to yeah. hold. Ooh. Oh, that's scary. Oh, what is that? I think that was supposed to be an up air. SCJ is so good at the positional mix up, too. <laughs> that's so sick. <laughs> that's so scary. Oh, that was going to kill. But yeah, like the up tilt, and then he rolled in, so he was just able to cover it with a dash. Yeah, tag. exactly. Oh, the Ooh. turnip. Oh, wait, that might have actually hurt him a little bit. Yeah. Low key. Being hit by that turnip actually didn't hurt STJ's position at all. Yeah, it actually like it popped him up so he was already in the air. Yeah, so he could just back air afterwards. Yeah, and it sent Bunk off stage, which is what the back throw was going to do, but then STJ was just lagless instead of being in a back throw animation. I think one of the hardest parts, especially playing as Bunk, is making sure that you don't get caught in those scenarios. Because a lot of time your punishes actually help out Jigglypuff. Yeah. Because one of the big efforts and strengths of Jigglypuff is being in the air. So yeah. knocking them up is probably going to hurt you in the end if it's not big uh, distance. Uh, if yeah, it's like, not going to send them far, like Nair. Yeah. Like, like those weak Nairs are super scary because mm -hmm. like right there, Duncan just tried to fare out of it. And it was really close to hitting. And if it had, Bunk would have been in a bad spot because he's at 119. Yeah, SCJ can Ooh, also just immediately go for a reversal. Just like going for some really poor trades, out bullying the bully. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The spacing from Bunk. I love that. He got the reverse on that, though, so it's not going to kill. Oh, wow. He just got a fair. You do not see raw fair a lot against Jigglypuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, and he did the, the knit. The it, knitting. It looks like STJ was just caught in the tempo when getting hit by that fair, too. Oh, 22%. 29. That's risky. You're going to have to build up as much percent as possible. Oh, oh. no, Nair! He tried to go for a down air, I think, but he, like, did the thing. Oh, man. Oh, that up he was so smart. He wasn't going to be able to get an up air. Mm -hmm. He's gotten so much. 58%. And he's still alive. Yeah, floating high. You're going to have to air dodge here, yeah. Oh, my God. How is he alive? And how has he gotten so much value off of a 140 stock? Yeah, playing towards the ledge is probably your best bet at the moment. Oh, that platform that ate the turn up. He could have gotten an air after that if that turnip had hit. Yeah. He, oh, he yeah. almost got that second fair. 77% though. That, you can definitely run with that. He just won neutral so many times. Mm -hmm. I think that that's one of the, like, yeah, this matchup is really slow, but you can just see how many times they're winning neutral. The Peach especially, because, like, Puff can get a couple rest stuff, but, like, you can tell, like, Bunk just got hit twice while dealing 70% to a Puff. I think he's dead. Oh, he's dead. Oh, my God. Oh, wait, because he was sent up, he actually has value to live. Oh, but yeah, Duncan just evened that up real fast. Mm -hmm. And these Nairs, Ooh. it's not going to kill, but that was good. Yeah, just trying to go for <laughs> these <laughs> the value pokes. Bounce into the shield, which steals the... A trade is going to get Bunk killed. I think Bunk's going to try and go for an up air here. Oh. Bunk. Up, up air will kill. Bunk's... Every time... It looks like SCJ is trying to cover a high recovery. It either Ooh. goes towards air dodge forward to get to the stage or immediately drop with the umbrella. Yeah. Oh, my God. That's going to kill. Mm -hmm. And this is the last start. SCJ probably uh. has the best positioning off this. He has momentum in neutral, even though it's such a macro heavy game. Those trades. Oh, my God. That oh, was so much pressure. How is down throw in this matchup for uh, Peach? I don't think it's too good. Yeah. I think typically you just want to forward throw and like get her away because the down throw has so much lag on it. Mm -hmm. And I think it like gets Puff away far enough, but I don't think you're able to get anything off of it. And you're just putting yourself in unnecessary lag when you can just back throw or forward throw. Yeah, you can't dash attack in this matchup either. Or even you, up throw. Yeah, it's so It's so, I don't want to say potent. Uh. It's potent in Bunk's positioning at this moment, because any form of poke is going to get him comboed to probably carry to the edge and die. Yeah. 
Yeah. Because he's, he's not in a position where STJ's going crazy far oh! from the trade. He dodged that so well. He, like, jumped at the perfect time. And Duncan, STJ is nearing so well right now. Oh, oh that down smash. He only got one hit of it, though. STJ hasn't oh, been covering oh, that, the rolls. That could have killed. Oh, that's oh, some risky bits. Man. Oh, man, this is so close. Thank God for plus on shield. Oh, he got the Mr. Saturn. He just threw it away. Oh, yeah, this it's is too so scary. It's too risky to go for the Mr. Saturn right here. All right, oh, you're going to have to bait it out. All right, he burned all of his jumps. Yeah, but, oh, he's going to forward throw. He's going to float high. All right, we got to reverse. Oh, he went for the balsa. Oh, oh that's man. it. And he got too greedy on that nair. Bunk went for that. I thought he was going to float high. He went for that balls to the wall fair. Yeah. Man, that was so close. At that point, especially with the high percent that SDJ's at, uh, Bunk was just running out of time. It, yeah. Even though uh, SDJ is at that high percent, it looks like Bunk is going to get, or SDJ is always going to get more of the value trades yeah. out of these oh, combat. Oh, for sure. You have to get a, such a good nair or down smash in this matchup, or even like a lucky fair, just make sure that you can call out his timing. Yeah, but like you can't count on that lucky fair. Yeah, the exactly. Problem. That's You can't count on literally any of these. Yeah. To be, that's what's so hard. Because like Puff can count on a lot in the neutral wins in this matchup. Peach, like you have to out, you have to win like so many hard fought neutral battles. It's not just that you have to win neutral a bunch; they are all hard fought. You have to win neutral more than SDJ has to win neutral. Oh arguably. yeah, way way more than SDJ has to win neutral. And then like then at that point it's like SDJ has to make the punishes that he's getting count, and he is like his punish game when he's getting a good neutral opening is insane. It looks like SDJ isn't handling the float cancel aerial into immediate down smash. He's been he's been hit by it three times now. Also, the roll in hasn't been covered. Oh my god, that nair reverse! That was so good. Super recently, but bunk with the lead. And we're going to the fire transformation. Also, the, the last game was like six minutes long, so if they just wait out transformations, this could go to time. Yeah. And also, I think bunk's gonna go for a lot more up air. You gotta to stay kill. there. Bunk has to stay here. Oh, that drill grab. Oh my god, he DI'd that horribly. That, I didn't think he was going to die from that. Yeah, I didn't either. He DI'd straight out. Bunk going for some risky bits. Value trades. Oh, uh, not anymore. Yeah, he's lost out so much on this transformation. Uh, one more. Three back airs. He doesn't have a float. Oh, yep. nice, nice sneak, but he's at 95. Oh, that air dodge was so good. That was such a good air dodge. Yeah, but SCJ looks like he had it covered. If he just had it charged, he would have got him. Oh, uh, tried to cover a roll away. Okay. Ooh, I like that fair jab. He didn't get greedy with the down smash. And Ooh, it's, turn up there. it's good that SCJ is also light shielding the, uh, the yeah. flow cancel aerials, making sure that he gets that full shield coverage to cover his whole body. Oh, my God. I'm really surprised that didn't kill. Uh -huh. I'm also really surprised that it hit. Puff's head goes really far on that. Ooh, I think Puff could have up aired that. It doesn't look like SDJ is really yes, changing in the rhythm, though. Especially with the positioning, but Bunk isn't either. Yeah, I mean, because, like, it's super close, so I don't think either of them really, like, have to change anything up. They just have to do what they're doing a little better. SDJ is so good oh at God. giving up his own positioning and then just getting center stage like it was nothing. Yeah. No, what? his, like, his, his just, like, placement, the positioning mix ups are insane. All right. And also that DI. That's the fourth time that STJ has been hit by float cancel <laughs> down smash. Yeah, I don't think, like, if you get stuck in your shield, it shield steps Puff really well. Oh, and there's the up air. Up air kills Puff so early. That would have killed it, like, 110, especially oh, really? on Stadium. Might have even killed it, like, 100 from the floor. So I think, like, with Stadium, Bunk's going to be up airing more. Oh, this isn't... Oh, he's dead. Yeah. The best positioning for him. I thought... Yeah, and then Puff's just invincible. You cannot, you cannot touch Puff there. It's impossible. That's good to know. Like if you if you see Puff starting to get up attack on there, just run. Yeah, I don't I don't know the inner nuance. Oh god! <laughs> oh god! Get away! Get yeah, away! Yeah, you the had rest. the air dodge there. That was a great float cancel there. Yeah. Oh, you're going for oh some my risky god. bullying. You know what though? If he gets rested down there, what's the issue? He, like has such a good chance to get on a wall tech. Oh, that forward mm. smash is so good. That was such a good call out. It was a good change of rhythm too. It looks like yeah. Bunk is so caught up in like the long tempo. I think the longer the game goes, the more you get comfortable with each other's rhythm. Yeah, and that's the first forward smash like that SCJ's gone for the entire set. Ooh! Wow, slapped him. 
It uh, wasn't a kill, kill though. though. All right. Oh, we did have that bad base. You need one live. more of those. One of those girthy nares. Oh, it's not gonna kill though. Fifth time. <laughs> I'm telling you. The only time that he's been hitting it though. So I think Bunk is really good at calling out SDJ's like landing, uh, which is the best part oh, about bear. fighting Puff. I think the biggest part is that Bunk is unfortunately hitting down smash at the wrong places. Yeah. No, that fair was so good though. He like floated and then like he got that little float mm -hmm. boost above the dash attack. Also, he got 35% there. And this is game three, last stock. Oh, that down smash is so scary. <laughs> oh, wow. you get the button. In. No. <laughs> also, Duncan, SDJ is not, SDJ is the type of person that is not afraid to just rest a down smash. Yeah. Like a, a bad space down smash. And that turn up, those got a lot of percent. You're going for a really specific fair if you wanted to get hit him on that ledge. All right, I think one more like solid neutral hit and then an up air will kill. Yeah. Peach's up air is so strong. You know, SCJ is in a pretty good position if he stays near that windmill. Ooh. Oh, oh, that's it! No, he's living. Wow, that was such a good turn up there. It was such a strong hit, especially as high up as it was. Forcing oh, that yeah, air there. He's going for the up airs. Why am I so excited? <laughs> because this is so close. This is so tense. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 86 percent in oh Bunk's God. eyes, but SCJ has every reason to win at this point. Yeah, Bunk's just trying to shark right now. Yeah. And SCJ is like getting closer and closer, higher and higher, to where Bunk can't shark him. Oh, he oh, went for the grab. So good. Yeah, that was so good. That was he so that cool. Roll. Man, that was such a close set. That option selected. Dude, too. Bunk, Bunk is so good at covering those rolls too. He's that's so he does it all the time, but like I I never give him credit for how consistently he pulls that off. Okay. It was